They're off in the Wood Memorial. Toasting Master and Tiz Shady go out to the front together, and Daredevil and Ten Sendor are going to be close to the pace as well. El Kabir is taken back, running in fifth position. Lieutenant Colonel, who did not have a good start, is next, and Frosted is on the outside of him. Frosted is near the back of the field early on, and he's wide on the first turn. The leader is Toasting Master, quick out of the gate and on top of half a length with Daredevil second on the outside. New York bred 10, Sendor is third. They went 24 and two for the opening quarter mile. It's a sensible pace. And then it's Tiz Shady fourth on the inside. El Kabir will be coming off the pace today as he did in the Gotham. And now he's been passed by Frosted on the outside. And Lieutenant Colonel is last, only four lengths off the lead. The pace appears to be very slow up the back stretch here. And they are in pursuit of Toasting Master who's pressed along by Daredevil. It's flat. Then Ten Sendor on the inside, Lieutenant Colonel. Tis Shady. Frosted's going to be caught four deep as they go into the turn. And El Kabir is dead last. Around the far turn, Toasting Master, Daredevil, and Ten Sendor. And these three are across the track. And Frosted is a length and a half behind him. He's been wide on both turns. Then Tis Shady. El Kabir with his work cut out for him. He's six lengths off the lead with a long shot to catch as the New York bred Ken Sendor turns for home in front in the Wood Memorial. And Frosted runs at him on the outside. These two into the final furlong. Ken Sendor running the race of his life. Frosted draws even. Frosted. Ken Sendor fights on, but Frosted's got it. And he's pulling away. And Frosted has won the Wood Memorial. Ken Sender was second, El Kabir was third, and Daredevil was fourth. So Frosted, ridden by Joel Rosario, trained by Kieran McLaughlin, wins for the Godolphin Stable. Frosted coming to take command in the stretch through the final furlong and beat the long shot, Ten Sender, to the line. Yeah, as we spoke of before the race, this was the biggest question mark horse was Frosted. I mean, did he have an excuse in the Fountain of Youth? And talking to his trainer, Karen McLaughlin, a week or so afterwards, he said, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to pair the blinkers back. You know, the more uh, more coverage those blinkers get, the more uh, the more the horse, can, the less the horse can see, the, the more speed it puts into him. So he dialed back the, the part of the blinker that prohibits the horse from having vision outside so he could see more, relax more. And his idea was make one late run, not making up a lot of ground, but one late run, and hopefully that would do the trick as well as the surgery on the throat. Slow pace didn't particularly help El Kabir, who was last down the back stretch. You see him a well-beaten third. I'm sure he'll go on to Kentucky. Tinson Dewar, the long shot, a big effort to finish second. He now has 41 Derby points. He'll probably go on down the road and give trainer George Weaver his very first Kentucky Derby horse. Daredevil was exposed as a horse that's not going to go that far. I mean, he was actually under a hard ride at the top of the stretch. You knew he was going nowhere, so very doubtful that he'll continue on the Derby Trail. I mean, my feeling is this didn't change my mind about the West Coast bias. Uh, so far, I think the East Coast horse is disappointed. Uh, even though you got to give credit to Frosted, I don't think it's changing a lot of people's minds. You see the running time, a 150.31. If you want to compare, I mean, the three-year-old Phillies, Condo Commando won the Gazelle in a little bit more than 152. Now, the three-year-old Phillies aren't that good this year, I think, but uh, we'll see how the numbers come up on this race. But it might be a pretty decent effort. And here's where Frosted took command with Joel Rosario. Kieran McLaughlin's had a big day today. He won a oh. race at Keeneland. He won a big race earlier at Aqueduct, and now he takes the biggest of all at Aqueduct the Million Dollar Wood Memorial with Frosted in the colors of Godolphin Racing. A homebred, Frosted, a son of Tappet, wins the Wood Memorial.